With exponentially more attention, the NCAA Tournament's number one overall seed took the floor at the Amway Center. Hundreds of fans looked on as Billy Donovan ran a rather lax practice. Us being number one is a, is a great honor and a great compliment, but I, I really don't know what it means. You know, we're in a bracket right now, and we got to play tomorrow against Albany, and that's the only thing that really matters to our, us, our guys right now. Four of five Gators starters are seniors, an anomaly in today's college game, given the early entry into the NBA draft. You don't throw the hooks out. And these Florida seniors aren't overlooking the lesser talent at Albany. I think every team is going to give us uh, their best shots, uh, especially now, you know, tournament's the one and done deal. You know, if you lose, you out. We don't really let outside pressures or or media stories uh, really come in and affect us and the way we play and the way we prepare. And I think we really focus on the team that we're playing, how they play, and how we need to play against them. I think we're not going to take any game for granted. We're going to make sure that it, with our senior leadership that we're going to come out focused and ready to go. A win over the underdog Great Danes would give the Florida seniors 117. That's a program record, but the Gators will be the first to tell you they're not worried about records. There is one mark they would like to tie. The 1976 Indiana Hoosiers, who won 32 consecutive games. If the Gators are able to reach that mark, They'll be cutting down the nets on their third national title. And it all begins tomorrow right here at the Amway Center when they tip it off against Albany just after 4 o'clock. Reporting from Orlando, Chris Fisher, 10 Sports.